Hey, I haven't been hanging out much in uh, L.A. lately. I seem to be spending half my life in Las Vegas, as does Elton John. Now, he's just signed on, of course, to do three years at Caesars Palace, only two weeks at a time, every few months or so, whenever Celine Dion needs a break. Uh, we caught up with him. His show is absolutely phenomenal. It's called The Red Piano Tour. Uh, unbelievable show, you, like nothing you've ever seen before. It's a good reason to go to Vegas alone. Uh, we managed to uh, stay backstage for the show, see the stage from the front, and chat with the man himself in between. At 57, Elton John is at the top of his game and topping the bill in Las Vegas, something he felt was a risk because of the town's old reputation as a graveyard for lounge acts but that's clearly no longer the case. Vegas used to be a bit naff, didn't it? But it's not really like that anymore. Well, the other week, there were, uh, on a Friday night, there was John Mayer at the Mandalay Bay. Sting was playing the Hard Rock. Edda James was at the Hilton. Um, Gladys Knight was at the Flamingo, and I was here all at the same time. So, you know, that's a pretty good lineup. And, uh, and uh, you know, Vegas, as you say, yeah, it's become a much hipper place to come. A lot of people come here for the weekend from uh, L.A. Yeah. And, um, and it's, yeah, it's a cool place. And they're be. trying to get it back to being Sin City, aren't they? Rather than the sort of family thing that they used yeah. to have going here. I think, I don't, know, I don't see much of that because I'm stuck up in my penthouse <laughs> like Rapunzel. But uh, <laughs> it's uh, the only drag here is, I mean, I go play tennis every morning at about 8 o'clock. And that's fun, and it's just around the corner. Right. Uh, but apart from that, if I try to go out anywhere, it's you like can't. I get chased through the mall. It's like I'm 57, I'm getting chased through, <laughs> through the mall, and I think this is ridiculous. When he does come down from Thank his you. penthouse suite, it's to perform in a wildly extravagant, uniquely artistic stage show that's a blitz on the senses from beginning to end, which is exactly what he felt he had to deliver as he took over the reins from Celine Dion. I, I couldn't come here with a band and just do my normal show. We dis we disappear on that stage. Um, and although the music would be good, people come to Vegas and expect something a little bit more. more yes, they do. Yeah. And that's so uh, that's why we um, did the show like we did. It's just a visual feast and, and fine with all the blow ups coming up. I mean blow ups are nothing new. I mean the Rolling Stones have been using blow ups for years on their huge stadium tours. But um, this is a four thousand seat theatre and there's not a bad seat in the house so our visuals um, are, are, are a lot more close to people, and they're very, very funny. They are. They're hilarious. Yeah, the yeah. stocking thigh, the pair yeah. of boobs. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, um, no, it's, it's great fun. Very right. phallic fruit. Phallic fruits, <laughs> yes. We've had that. It's a good name for a band, isn't it? The phallic fruits. Maybe I should join them. Yeah. Elton and the phallic fruits. Yeah, fruit. George Michael, me. <laughs> <laughs> the phallic fruits with their new single. back has got Pamela Anderson pole dancing <laughs> through the entire song behind you. Every man's dream come true. No matter if you're gay or straight, people love that. They, they see her coming on and it's a, this screen is 120 feet wide and 40 feet high. Yeah. And it's massive. Um, and um, the clarity of the screen is incredible. And when they see Pamela Anderson coming on, no matter who they are, they just love it. Oh, it's cool. unbelievable. Yeah. Did you have to talk her into that? Was no, that David. She's a friend of mine. She's a friend of David's. And David just said, will you do it? And she said, yeah, she's a good girl. It's larger than life, and, and sometimes, you know, it dwarfs me, but, you know, that's why I talk much more than I usually do. I bring it back to me, right. because there's so much going on. Um, I, I describe it as going on Space Mountain for an hour and a half. And there were over 4,000 people in the house, and on stage that night, who wouldn't argue with that? Were you there? Did you see him? In concert, I mean, not I knew you were there unbelievable. <laughs> no, 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 I did. I saw the show. He insisted I see the show. We were going to actually um, have an interview beforehand, but he said, no, I want you to see the show. It's like nothing you've ever seen. Then let's talk about it. And I'm so glad he, he insisted on that because it's honestly the most unusual and I think one of the best gigs I've ever been to. And it's worth, uh, most people say when you go to Vegas, the big show to see is O, and that's true. That's amazing. But you must, if you're going to go to Vegas or the West Coast, time it around when Elton's there because yeah. it will blow you away. It's fantastic. Yeah. Right. Well, I wouldn't that's mess recommendation indeed. I wouldn't mess those inflatables.